One question. Okay. Did yeah. you take one south of the board there on that? Okay, I'm speaking here with Devin Harris. Hey, Devin, earlier in the season, since I've been doing this documentary on Shane, he told me that you're someone that's kind of been like a role model to him. Uh, exactly. What have you been telling them and, you know, keeping them, you know, in check? Well, not in check, but, you know, helping them, helping them out in his rookie year. Well, it's just uh, not been in his position before coming to a team like this and try to find minutes. So I'm just trying to keep his head level and make sure he's still you know, being professional yeah. about it, going out, working hard, and understanding, you know, how to get better. Because he was saying, I guess, the biggest adjustment for him was, you know, being a man in high school, being a man in college, and then now, you know, coming to the NBA and it's kind of, you know, a setback. Not necessarily a setback for him, yeah, but he's not, you know, playing and being in the rotation as it's much just, as he wants to. It's an adjustment. Um, and, and this is one that everybody, I think, has to make at some point. Um, and like I said, I can kind of fit into his shoes coming to this team particularly. Having the type of guys that we have on the team, the type of veterans, it's kind of tough to get minutes at time. Kind of tough to find an identity. But it's, you know, trying to make, make sure he doesn't get lost in the shuffle, still working hard and, and de developing because he's going to get his opportunity at some point. And one last question. So what do you tell Shane, I guess, to kind of keep his composure? Because it, sometimes it seems like maybe he loses it a little bit. You know, you got to expect patience. It's, patience is the first thing, but, you know, seize the opportunity when it, when it presents itself. Thank you. Appreciate it.